All right, Doc. It needs to do something. Oh, the legs. He's in big trouble. Anakin. Oh, the run to his block. The one, one. Check, check the ankles. One ball the way. And the perfect. Make some noise for Anakin, ladies and gentlemen. Let that man pop. Let that man pop. Anakin has been around forever. He's played in dozens of tournaments, repping Jack and America, even in the hardest moments. He's a fan favorite. But right now, he's North America's greatest hope. Corners himself, though. Uh-oh. Oh, oh the D-Bug! He breaks the wall! Penalty. That is gonna be the tournament! Anakin wins Dream Mac Atlanta! What an end there! The perfect time to use that rage drive, getting the balcony break, dropping the A. Uh-huh. ATL Anakin representing oh. Radiance, Red Bull, and Atlanta. These days, the Tekken world has their eyes on only one place, Pakistan. So it's easy to forget that we have some incredible players back home as well. Anakin started his journey with Tekken 3 so long ago that even he doesn't remember it all that well. But he was instantly hooked. Man, I, to be honest, when I once I started playing Tekken, I never stopped. I feel like I could have gone and branched off and played all sorts of different games, but it was just Tekken that I came back to the arcades playing every single day. He eventually graduated from getting his ass beat at the local arcades in Atlanta to dominating the local scene and entering tournaments. Well, I remember the very first tournament that I attended, I was like 11. I saw just like an ad for a local tournament in the arcade and I definitely just, I didn't know anything about FGC or communities, I was just a little kid playing at the arcade. I took second place against one of like the great ATL players. And I kind of like kickstarted my, my journey to competitive tech and it was like I was hooked right from the moment that I went to my first tournament, I did so well. And the tournament scene made him fall in love with Tekken even more. It was the beginning of the end of almost every other aspect of his life. All he wanted to do was compete. Now, Tekken wasn't the biggest game in the FGC for a really long time. It sat in the shadow of Street Fighter when it came to the competitive space. But that all started to change when MLG started running tournaments for Tekken 6. And Anakin, well, he jumped at the opportunity. It was the first time that Tekken really got that big esports spotlight with the big prize pool and everything. And this was kind of the beginning of when we started to see major tournaments that included not only the best players from America, but players from Korea, Japan, all over the world are starting to see it, these tournaments as worthwhile for them to come over and maybe win a little bit of money. Before that point, Anakin was known on the local level, but it was his win at MLG Dallas that really propelled him into the spotlight. I remember that tournament, it was like, best mover for me because it kind of propelled me into like recognition uh, on the international scale. A lot more people kind of took my character seriously and kind of trained for that. And from that moment on, that was kind of like a big target at any tournament. That was also the moment when people started taking his character, Jack, more seriously. Jack wasn't a very popular pick back then, but it's what Anakin settled on after having a bit of a crisis. And he made Jack look good. Anakin developed a reputation as one of North America's best but his wins over Korean talent were rare at a time when Tekken tournaments were declining. Prize pools were going down, which meant less travel for the Korean players who defined the game. Tekken wasn't dying, but it wasn't exactly thriving. Till Tekken 7. Tekken 7 was flashy, it was exciting, and it had everything people were looking for at a time where some fighting games felt disappointing. And Anakin, well, Anakin started the game off on the right foot. <laughs> I think that's it. Oh, All man. Right. Oh, he's, he clean he's rounds. Already Anakin up. takes it. The handshake. And Rip, again, falls short yeah. of claiming a spot on the Tekken Tour. His win at Combo Breaker gave Anakin a qualifier spot for the King of the Iron Fist tournament, which is Tekken's World Finals. But that's not what Anakin wanted. Anakin decided that he wanted to keep playing. He gave up his qualifying spot and grinded his way back to the finals. I felt like I would have just been limiting myself if I would have just sat home and waited for finals. You know, it's kind of sitting on the shelf a little bit, get rusty, and instead I kind of like put it on a line, I guess. It wasn't really that big of a deal, I think, but it was really fun to get all that tournament experience before the game even came out. He might not have won, but he earned his spot a second time after calling his shot. And that counts for a lot. For the next couple of years, Anakin maintained his reputation of one of North America's best. But as players started traveling again, the hometown hero started to slow down. Is anybody's game still? Anybody's game still? Oh, oh it's gonna break it! Oh, nice what a block! block! Nice block! Just oh, what a block! What a block! Oh, what a block! Oh, what a block! Oh, what a block! 
He wasn't placing poorly, it just wasn't up to his standards. Which means going into EVO 2019, he wanted better from himself. He wanted more. Oh my goodness, Anakin just dashing in and out of range. Yo. Look at this! The and dance made him bite the bullet! Right now it's looking- wow. Oh my god! A perfect! Before we A could perfect. even blink! I can't believe it! Proving to be the strongest tree Look in the woods. This. One more hit and he gets it! Anakin might not have won EVO 2019, but he got as close as any North American player has in years, tying Lil Majin's place from the year before. I gotta give it up, Anakin third place. Not too shabby. Hey, you know that is, is that the best an American has ever done in Tekken 7? I, I believe, Majin might have gone third last year too. Oh yeah, you're right about yeah. that. He took knee to the limit and left the stage with the crowd chanting his name. And now, Anakin is back in the finals. And this time, he's number two on the leaderboard, right behind me, the god of Tekken. In a tournament stacked with players from Korea, Pakistan, and Japan, Anakin is North America's greatest hope. And he is not the kind of person to settle for anything less. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring that notification bell. For unique bite sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages.